Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1828. Now in the next five videos, I'm going to show you why the original lookup function, lookup, beats XLOOKUP. Five different situations where it's just much easier to use lookup. In this video, we'll see that lookup is much easier than XLOOKUP when we're doing approximate match lookup. Now be sure and download this file. On this sheet, there's some notes. And all of these examples come from my The Only App That Matters book, of course, available at Amazon. Now, when you're doing approximate match lookup, that means you're looking up some earnings, and we need to get a tax rate here. And I'm racing through, and I'm trying to find an exact match or the next smaller. So there it is. I get this row. I need to bring back this tax. Now we can definitely do this with XLOOKUP, but two things, one, two, three, four, five arguments. It takes a lot longer to enter and create this formula than the two arguments we're going to have to enter into LOOKUP. The other thing is that XLOOKUP doesn't care how it's sorted. Now here's the thing, and this is the reason why I use LOOKUP. For decades, I've been using tax tables, discount tables, commission tables, and I've never seen a table that's not sorted. Now, there's two options here, and we're almost always going to use the bottom one because it is amazing. If I enter a lookup value, comma, and then the array means the table, well, the first thing is lookup only does approximate match. It doesn't do exact match. But lookup has this magic ability to always take the value from the last column. That's different than VLOOKUP where we have to specify a column, and XLOOKUP where we have to put it in as a second range. So that's it. When I hit Enter, that formula is much shorter, much faster to create. This one's longer, takes longer to create. I can tell you, whenever I have approximate match lookup, I use the original lookup function from VisiCalc Back in 1979, look up. All right, we'll see you next. Look up Excel magic trick.